Good morning, dear friends. So this is a different kind of video uh, that I'm making for my VSG um, journey discussion. Usually everything is about the non-scale victories and the weight loss and all the things that are really good and positive because I'm all about putting positive energy out in the world. But at the same time, I think it's important to touch on and to discuss some of the struggles one may have. In my case, um, I am now, <clears throat> excuse me, quickly approaching um, my six month anniversary from having my surgery. My surgery was on December 7th of 22. Today is uh, June 5th. So I'm two days out away from my six month period. And although it has been an incredible journey thus far, and there's years and years and years, <clears throat> excuse me, to come, but uh, one of the things that I am dealing with right now is this uh, plateau. And I'm sure there's probably five billion YouTube videos about the plateau and they come up with these ridiculous um, techniques to get over that, to jumpstart your weight loss again and all of that stuff. I'm just talking about the emotional part of this process because I know um, what is happening to my body. My body is trying to catch up uh, to uh, a, a, a healthy weight process. I, I was losing weight fairly rapidly early on. Um, and now um, I seem to be in the stall. It, it's, it, it's been this way for several weeks. Um, I'll go up a pound or two and then drop down a pound or three. And then, you know, so I'm always within a three pound radius um, of where I was. And water weight obviously has a big part to do with that uh the diet the exercise the intensity of the exercise the con the consistency of the exercise all these things i'm fully aware of uh and these are things that i struggle with um being honest with myself and really forcing myself to stay focused i am human as our all of you that are watching this, if you're going through the same process, we all have these struggles. The one thing that I continuous that continuously inspire me is not looking at other people and seeing their weight loss and comparing theirs to mine, because that would just you know derail me. Instead, looking at those non-scale victories, as I indicated before, realizing my body is changing and I am doing what I'm supposed to do. But there are things that I need to do more. And one of those things that I need to do more is being vigilant about my logging. I was rock solid in logging the first several months. I mean, there was nothing going in my mouth without me putting it in my Baratastic app. And as I got to months five and six, it started to wane. It was like I wasn't vlogging as much, or not vlogging, um, uh, jotting down what I was eating in my app consistently. I would do it here or there. And I think for me, um, I need to be more consistent with that. So that's one of the things that I'm really pushing myself as of today uh, to be more consistent with doing. In terms of the portion controls and all those things, I'm actually really good with uh, listening to my body. When my stomach says, this bite here that you just took is the last one that you need because if you take anything else um, you're going to start to feel over full and so I'm, I've learned to listen to my body which is something I did not do prior to the surgery at all I would if something tastes good and like, oh I gotta have another bite I gotta have another bite um, so one of the things that I I have gotten really good at is truly listening to my body and then responding accordingly, not just listening to my body and be like, oh, yeah, I recognize you're full, but I'm going to stuff something else in there. No, I recognize that I am sated and then I will stop. I will put my fork down and walk away. So it's mind, body that I continue to really work hard to be responsive to. But that feeling of 
but I'm not losing the pounds off the scale. And then I start asking myself questions, okay? What are you doing to be successful in this process? What are you not doing that can make you even more successful in this process? And that's the harder question because then I have to really look at myself and say, I know what I tell people and I know what I tell myself, but what is the truth of all of that? Am I really doing everything I need to do? Um, so I just like to take time, just like in my, my field, I, I'm an educator and a performer, but in my field, um, because I work with students, I will often go back and I'll reevaluate those things that worked and then what things that did not work and then what new measures can I implement to make them better. Um, so that's what I'm applying to my life right now. And this, this video is coming out of that. And I know it's a slightly longer video. My videos, I try to keep around five or so minutes. I'm already at six minutes, 15 seconds. So, but that's where I am right now. And it is the struggle bus, but it's not the impossible bus. And I know there's a lot of success. Um, something else that I've implemented uh, just for today, uh, it's called the 24 hour food vlog, where I am literally recording everything that goes into my mouth other than, you know, when I have an Altoid, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily record that, but if I have to, I can officially say I've had two Altoids today, and these are um, uh, less than five calories uh, each. So I've had two of them today. So the, I guess I have to vlog that. But anyway, that's what I'll be putting out uh, over the next 24 hours. So uh, there'll be a video for each meal that I have and any major snacks that I have, I will vlog that. And that's really, once again, these, these videos, I put them out on YouTube but they're really for me. They're really for me when I am hitting that struggle bus and I need to go back and hear my own words, uh, speaking to my own soul and responding accordingly. But in the meantime, I hope that my words can also help and encourage and inspire others who are also uh, trying to find their way through this process if they are going through this. Or if you are somebody who is um, thinking about VGS, um, I'm sorry, VSG. What, where am I getting VG? I always mix the G and S. VSG, <laughs> vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Um, if you're somebody who is thinking about uh, VSG, um, then hopefully this, you know, helps you as well. So, because I know there were Facebook pages and uh, YouTube pages where you know, people had all the fluff and the fancy, you know, stuff to kind of get you in. And, and it's all about how many clicks can I get and likes can I get on my video. But the ones that I really like were the people who are doing what I'm doing, where they're literally just sitting down and they're talking to their camera and they're telling you what the reality is. And that helped me make my decision, which was the best decision I have ever made in my entire life, other than adopting my son and marrying my husband. So... Um, there you have it. That is it for today um, or for right now. And like I said, I will be posting those food um, videos uh, at the end of the evening today after my last meal. Uh, and then I will try to compile them into one video so that way I don't have like, you know, six different videos on top of this. Um, but they'll be in like one place where people can kind of see uh, what I am doing, but once again, more so, so I can see how much food I'm actually consuming. Because even when you put it in the apps, you put it in, sometimes you have to guesstimate, uh, you know, certain things and the app will calculate whatever, but it's not necessarily 100% accurate. Whereas I can visually see in these videos how much food I'm consuming, exactly what I am. And I always talk about what the the ingredients are in it. So that way I have an idea of um, the health value as well. So that is it for right now. Uh, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you for, uh, if you've you know, lasted this long, thank you for listening. Uh, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic and blessed day. Take care, bye-bye.